George accosted Melissa from the other side of the bar. He had to be in his late forties and had a wedding ring on, but Melissa had no problem with a silver fox. Plus, he was sort of attractive to her. He approached her and swiftly slid beside her, sneakily slipping something in her drink. Cold out there, isn't it? She took a sip of her drink. It is, isn't it? He gave her a sensual but somewhat off look. How about uh, take you to a place where we can give you some warmth? Would your wife approve? She said with a smirk, catching a few people's glances. She took another sip of her drink and reached for her coat. George only laughed and had that same questionably awful look on his face. She wouldn't care. She's been cold down there for years. Melissa grinned awkwardly as she started to walk off, losing her balance a bit. Whoa there, cowgirl, said George as he caught her fall. I, I think, I think something's in my, said Melissa faintly as she blacked out. She started to fall, but George caught her before anyone could notice. I think someone's had a little too much to drink. I'll take her home, said George to the bartender, Ed. He picked her up conservatively by the waist and showed her out. No one thought anything of it. After all, George was an older guy. He drove her to his estate in the trunk of his Beamer. He parks around back and pulls her out of his car. At this point, she started to wake up. Her eyes flutter as she regains her vision slowly. She catches a quick glance of the six-foot man in the utter darkness of the night. Her eyes widen as she starts to shriek in fear. George's weird grin turned into a dark-eyed, dead smile. He hastily gags her with a rag and drags her into the dark cellar. She continues to try and scream for help as George throws her down in the middle of the floor in front of an old, dirty, eerie mirror, which strangely had no reflection. She then looked down to see herself in the middle of a pentagram, which only made her cry and scream harder. At this point, George lights a match, grabs a book, opens it to a certain page, and starts to chant in an inhuman language. He put the match up to his eyes, revealing the blankest stare Melissa had ever seen, and he threw it down onto the pentagram. As the fire spread and the heat set in, she screamed at the top of her lungs, There's no one here to help you, George said raspily as the flame grew larger and turned green. Her flesh starts to boil to the point where she blacks out once again. A chill shot through the room, almost emanating from the mirror, knocking the flames out. A fog disperses from the mirror and hundreds of moans and groans and Cries came bellowing out of the mirror as thousands of damned souls writhed with agony 
and pain. They reached for the brutally disfigured Melissa with her shanty, almost skeletal limbs and dragged her into the mirror to share their fate. 